Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? I am ready for the event, Houston. Scuba, Space Station, this is Mission Control, Houston. Please call Station for a voice check. Station, uh, this is JAXA Scuba Space Center. How do you hear me? I hear you loud and clear. Hello, Mr. Hoshide. How are you? This is the Tsukuba Space Station. We have so many guests, and this is a young audience, and there are a lot of women, too. So we'd like to start the questions. Hello, everyone. Thank you for gathering so late at night. So, this is Tsuji from Keio University. I'd like to ask a question. During the long mission at ISA, sometimes relationship becomes um, sour, and um, Mr. Hoshide, you are great in leadership, so how do you deal with such a situation? So, this is well, first of all, in our training, we all come to get to know each other, and towards the long mission, we prepare ourselves mentally. So basically, we do not have any such sour human relationships. When things don't go well, and since we are all human beings, sometimes we feel good, sometimes we don't. And so we try to leave a person alone when he seems to need the time to himself. So it's not that uh, we do something intentionally, but uh, naturally we keep a good distance amongst ourselves. And on the ground, we have been training together for a long time, and that helps. We are friends, and we are almost like a family. And I'm sure that uh, when you spend your time with your family, sometimes people are in good mood, sometimes people are not, and we all know how to act. And so even before we are up here, we already had that relationship. Thank you. Can I ask another question? I have cold right now. And the space astronauts, do you ever have cold or do you fall ill? Yes, when I'm on ground, yes, sometimes I have cold and I'm absent from my work. But coming to space, if I become ill and I'm not able to conduct my mission or if I don't want to go back on Earth on emergency, so what we do is before the launch, for a certain period, like a week or two weeks, we are isolated and uh, we make sure we don't bring any viruses and we're not infected to make sure that uh, we go up when we're not infected. And every day, if I, we have stomach ache or if we have runny nose, we have that medicine and um, we uh, communicate with doctors on the ground to ask him for his advice how much medication to take. Thank you. My name is Suzuki from the University of Tsukuba. Well, there are differences between space and uh, Earth. The big difference is the microgravity. The human beings have created culture and civilization with gravity. But when humans go out to space and when there is microgravity, 
What will human beings create? What will human beings try to communicate? So from the perspective of art, I'd like to ask this question. So in creating a piece of art in the space, what do you think would be the characteristics of outer space, leaving the microgravity alone? はい、そうですね。あのー、まあ宇宙にいて、えー、一番違うのは、well, 重力が。I'm now in space, and the biggest difference is the gravity, and、um, the scenery from the window is different. We are looking at the Earth from the outer space. You can only see, you can only understand something if you see the Earth from the outer space. That scenery is also a big difference. And astronauts tend to tell people about the beauty of the Earth. And through photos and videos that we take, we try to tell people that it's beautiful. But the lighting condition is a bit different, and the sunlight brightness is different out here, and the setting of the cameras or the exposures, it's difficult for us. And the professional artists, I think, can help. If they want to take a good picture, they'd have to think about the conditions. And professional cameramen, if they want to take an accurate picture, they always have to think of the conditions, like the lighting. That needs to be something to consider. As for microgravity, now I am free from the gravity, and new culture or new art could be created. So artists probably have. Various ideas, and I think it would be interesting if we get these ideas from artists. Thank you. Hello. I am Miyatani from University of Tokyo, and I am engaged in developing the micro satellite in the space where there's microgravity. Probably there needs to be there is a new way of developing satellites. So, Mr. Hoshide, you are now used to microgravity. Do you have any ideas about um, um, creating satellites in the space in a different way from the Earth? Well, that's a difficult question. The micro satellite, well, the experiment was conducted two months ago, and for promotion that uses just a spring, so it doesn't use any fire or rockets. And these satellites are let out into the space with just spring. That's only possible because there's no gravity here. Now, as for constructing satellites, well, on the orbit, we do various jobs with Velcro, but will Velcro be enough? When we let the satellites go, There's a heat condition or the vacuum condition, so satellite would have to be constructed to endure these hard conditions. That would be difficult. But in terms of strength,、um, the satellites would have to endure the launch condition, but that could be eased, so we could make the satellite smaller and lighter in that sense. And if the manned support is necessary, Like exchanging parts or fixing some parts. The, I think the design should be so that the parts could be exchanged. It's difficult to do some、uh, minor, small changes, but if、uh, this、uh, design is made so that the exchange of parts is possible, that's good. Actually, this our ISA is also designed that way. The parts can be exchanged. Thank you. 
東北大学の村山です。From 東北 University, this is 村山。So the topic of this science cafe is whether we need the manned、uh, space operations. And in the future, if we have the unmanned space experiments, and if the astronauts have to carry out and install equipment which would make an astronaut's presence in the space unnecessary, what, would do, what do you think would happen? What, what would be the motivation for the astronauts to complete such a task? Hi, I'm very happy to ask you. あの実はこの宇宙ステーションの中で今6人の人を使用していますけれども。Actually, in this ISA, there are six astronauts working, and there are various experimental equipment, and they are all automated, or the, they could be operated from the instruction from the Earth. So the astronauts d o e s n t have to do anything on their own. There's not much of that. Because we have to have it that way, otherwise, we would be in a situation where we do not have much time to do all this, like the maintenance of the equipment. So, most of the equipment are automated, and I think that direction is correct. And setting up these equipments or exchanging the equipment in case of trouble, that would be the majority of tasks placed on the astronauts. Actually, in this mission, there were unexpected troubles. And by us being here, we can cope with unexpected situations. And we can also be aware of some problems which we didn't expect, like the liquid is leaking from this equipment and so on. We can check it. So that is the strength of manned space experiment or manned space operation. Thank you. I am from the Institute of Space and Astronomical Study Science. My name is Hisamoto. Uh, Mr. Uh, Hoshide, you signed、uh, your autograph on、um, my paper, and I still have that in my room. The, about half of the students who have majored in aerospace engineering have not gotten jobs in the industry. So, what are the keys to staying motivated to seek an aerospace career? You had a dream ever since you were small to become an astronaut. So, please give us the motivations or some secrets of、um, realizing your dream. はい、そうですね、あの私の場合には、まあ、幸い、えー、宇宙開発に携わることができたことで well, in my case, I was lucky. I am able to be engaged in the aerospace development, and I became an astronaut and I came to the space. Well, one reason was I never gave up. And of course, some people can't realize their dreams even though they don't give up their dreams. But when you give up your dreams, the dream will no longer be there for you. So you have to make a step and progress that's necessary to realize your dream. Thank you. So I will also keep on pursuing my dream. Hello. I'm also from the Institute of Space and Astronautical Science. So my name is Sugimoto. And I wasn't,、uh, I st there's still some time, so I'd like to pose a question. So you've been staying at the ISS for a long time, and you probably have various experiences. Are there accidents? At the ISA, or were there some、um, near accidents that you encountered? So, this is a little bit of a problem. So, this is a little bit of a problem. 
Well, I wouldn't say um, simple, but there are minor troubles like computer troubles, accidents, and there are various um, unexpected events. And I communicate with the specialists on the ground and uh, solve the problems, or I let them come up with solutions and I listen to their instructions to solve the problems. To overcome these problems, we learn a lot. We learn about the new system, we learn about new troubles, defects, so there's trial and error, and we find out how to fix the problem and how to avoid it in the future. We do this one at a time. So it's been 12 years since humans are living on the ISS, but there has been this kind of accumulation of um, troubleshooting, and we've all um, really grown and learned from that. Thank you. Well, Mr. Hoshide, thank you so much. And thank you for making the time to come here. Thank you to the students. We have so many students with so many, so much uh, future. Could you give them uh, some message? Yes, thank you for setting up this event. I was really happy to talk to the students. Now I've been up on the space for four months and I've gone through various experiments. I had the HDV come and I did some extravehicular activities and there were some troubles and as I mentioned, I communicated with the people on the ground to overcome those problems. So because of the colleagues and friends, I was able to go through this big project. I want less than a week is less for me, but I will keep on making efforts and when I go back to the Earth, I hope I will get to meet you all, and please, all of you, I hope that you will continue to pursue your dream. Thank you so much, and so I hope you enjoy the rest of your mission. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you.